Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a highly requested video and this is me trying out Blue Marne's Cavalier Clay. And I believe this is in collaboration with Cameron Cretney. I've got high hopes for this because clays are what I usually use day in day out because my hair first of all is very thick and clays work perfectly in thick hair and they also give me that hold that my hair really really needs because otherwise it just kind of does what it's doing now which is a whole lot of nothing really. So as you can see, I have um, dry hair, I shampooed my hair and blow dried it, so there's nothing in there at the moment. It's completely free of any pre-stylers, anything like that. So I'm just gonna check out the website and see what they claim this does. So extreme texture for the hair, heavy hold, which I really, really need for my hair and contains organic oils and amino acids. It says, just like other clays, Cavalier clay works best if you have medium to thick hair so definitely my hair type and it's made for anyone who's looking to become a modern day gentleman not quite but I'm still gonna give it a go um, it says it's not really for people with very thin hair so yeah and clays I feel are perfect for just like an everyday hairstyle they give the hair a really kind of uh, casual look a casual vibe going on so yeah let's see what we can do let's see what we can do yeah it looks like a very generic clay very generic clay color um, it smells like play-doh I don't know it just smells play doh -y, but like the other Blue Marn kind of products, they have that kind of beeswaxy natural smell to them. It's a little bit reassuring because you know they haven't piled it in with a load of fake 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 what the, the fake fragrances and a load of crap that hair products don't necessarily need in them. So yeah, I do like the packaging. Um, it's a little bit 70s, isn't it? That kind of orange and brown is very 70s. Right, let's get into using the product. Go. Oh. It's a little bit tougher than a normal clay. Um, okay. And a thicker texture than what I'm used to in a clay. Ah, but there we go. It kind of like breaks apart very easily. Like it's not sticky and thick. So yeah, let's just run this through my hair. I'm just going to put a little bit of my fingertips first of all. And let's see if we get that volume and texture. I should zoom in for this. <laughs> Definitely going to need a little bit more. I kind of started with not so much, but... You know, when usually styling your hair, it's good to start off with a little bit of product, then um, add to it, rather than using too much and thinking, oh God, what am I going to do now? My hair, my hair's ruined. So yeah, rubbing that in again, it rubs in, like I said, really, really easily. No stickiness, no like, um, stickiness. <laughs> it's not gritty like a few cheap clays that I've used, which is nice. The hold is very, very good. Like, forget about the style of my hair at the moment. The hold is definitely there. It's nice and reworkable, really like I've been running my fingers through my hair. Um, quite uh, quite often <laughs> since putting the products in. That's what I tend to do is like flip my hair from side to side and um, you know, until I'm happy with the style. So it's good, like my fingers aren't getting stuck through my hair. Yeah, I mean, look at that, it has got a lot of hold. It holds very, very well. I'm not crazy about the smell, but I feel like there is no fragrance to it. And the, the Play-Doh-y smell that I'm smelling is literally just all the ingredients put together. So whilst I'm not like crazy on the smell, one thing I do hate about men's hair styling products is when they put that horrible aftershavey scent in it, that smells like body wash. That smells like every product that they kind of target at men, if you know what I mean? Like it's that really horrible, strong, almost gym changing room uh, aftershave smell. So I'd rather have a fragrance like this that's kind of nothingness compared to like a horrible, heavy man smell in my hair styling products. Okay, sorry, I had to go off and fiddle with my hair a bit because I don't have a mirror in front of me. Poorly prepared for this video. So yeah, did it work in my thick hair? It did, definitely yes. I didn't get that usual tugging feeling that I get from a lot of hair products. Is it holding my thick hair in place? Yeah, it is. Obviously, I would have to test this out for a day, but um, for now, like, it, it's doing pretty good. I always set my hair with a hairspray anyway because my hair is that thick. Um, I feel like I just need a hairspray anyway. As I mentioned, the smell I'm not hugely fussed on, but that is because it's just like a very generic ingredient smell, if that makes sense. There's no um, fake, like, that I'm aware of, no overpowering fake perfumes. I mean, oh no, it does say there's a fragrance in there. It's not crazy fragrance. I heard a review that said it smelled like vanilla, but I don't, I don't think that's vanilla. <laughs> it's more Play-Doh-y. But once the product hits my hair, it doesn't smell like anything anyway, so there's, it's not really a big deal. Is it groundbreaking? Not really. Is it a good clay? Yes, it is. It definitely is. I think what sets this up over the cheaper clays that I've been using is um, it's got the essential oils in, first of all. So it's doing your hair some good, unlike cheaper clays that it's just kind of product 
Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not really doing anything for your hair. It's not bad for your hair, but it's not really improving your hair whilst this is a product that kind of helps make your hair healthier while styling. Usually with clays as well, I'll get a lot of frizz, like a lot of like little bits kind of coming off. Um, and I did it with this one. It does kind of help control the frizz of my hair. As always, my discount code is gonna be down below. Obviously, you guys get, I think it's 10% off the product. And to be completely transparent with you guys, if you use my code, I do get a cut of that sale as well. Um, but as I always say, I never put my name to anything that I don't, you know, really trust or like. So yeah, I hope that kind of helped you make up your mind whether you're gonna purchase this product or not. Um, I have reviewed a few of the other Blue Man products. I'm still meant to be reviewing one, but I just can't bring myself to do another hair tutorial today. But yeah, that is it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.